was surrounded by animals. By the age of five, I had two dogs, two cats, and two horses. And yet, every time I watch them from my cats tumbling down the stairs as they fall, to my dogs simply watching my basset hound pick out my golden retriever's knees, <laughs> I consistently watch them and say, man, those are animals. <laughs> and yet, I, just, uh, I didn't even notice that I was doing the same things to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I consistently was throwing my older sister into the mud as she screamed, and I continuously pinned her down as the neighbor just cheered. <laughs> and yet, that echoes in today's Trump, in which of the beasts in nature, none is as savage as man. We can see with three main examples as to why man is truly the main reason behind many flaws in life, including first, the book Lord of the Flies, secondly, the sinking of the Titanic, and lastly, the play Macbeth. With these three uh, examples, we can see as to why people are truly what is flawed in, uh, in the planet, on this planet overall. When looking into literature and entering into our sophomore year humanities classes, we quickly are introduced to the world of the Lord of the Flies. Watching as Jack Maridu and, uh, and Ralph fight over who is the leader and who is the supposed boss, as people watch as the conscience destroyed, we witness Jack Maridu quickly take the role of the boss in three savage ways. He quickly takes on the role of the painting on his face and consistently trying to break free from the chains in which they originally lived. And yet over time, these people, uh, these children, these small British boys, continued on to constantly see themselves slowly move away from civilization and move on into a more savage lifestyle. These very boys that lived a very trim and proper life in the world of richness and constantly seeing themselves grow as people in private boarding schools, they witnessed the downfall of their civilization as these boys lived on an island for countless months and constantly had arguments and countless other conflicts. Over time, people are constantly looking at literature and saying, that will never happen in real life. And yet, over time, we continue to see how man believes that they are superior to one another. Over time, the Titanic sinking in 1912 introduced a world of new possibilities. As they claimed that was unsinkable and this would never happen, they quickly took on this almost foreshadowing as they introduced death and anguish. Over time, we are constantly introduced to the savagery of believing that you're truly just superior and that nothing bad will ever happen. We watch as countless people lost their lives and they believed that uh, these rich lives were to be saved. Yet over time, these lives of the third class continue to suffer. Over time, people are constantly seeing themselves distinguished between being savage or civilized. With this, people are seeing themselves put into animalistic ten uh, the idea of having animalistic tendencies or simply moving on in life to supposedly live a trim and proper uh, life in the future. When we're constantly looking at trim and proper, many people might think of reading about Shakespeare. Macbeth was introduced and immediately took on after meeting, uh, meeting the witches in Act 1 and uh, began a world and a life of destruction. He quickly took on savage acts of killing his best friend, killing the king, and yet he became corrupted. He, uh, he began his own downfall as he suffered at the hands of his own actions. This only adds to the fact that man will be corrupted and they will end up moving away from uh, a civilized life to simple savagery. By doing this, they're suffering at the hands of their own actions and continuing on in hopes of a supposed brighter tomorrow, and yet they truly can never reach that when they're heading towards pure death and destruction as Macbeth uh, led himself to. From watching his uh, wife fall apart to simply himself falling apart, he truly became a savage individual. Today, we have 
explorers would have uh, drawn, in which of all the beasts in nature, none is a savage as man. We can, uh, we can see that this means that despite countless hardships in life, many of those hardships are influenced by the flaws of humanity. We can see with three main examples, including first, uh, Lord God applies, secondly, the seeking of the Titanic, and lastly, the plain Macbeth. Over time, I'm constantly looking back at throwing my sister into the mud and laughing as the neighbor kids cheered on. <laughs> and then I look back and I see how wrong I was and how I was truly kind of, I was a savage little kid, a three-year-old. <laughs> but you know, over time, I'm constantly looking and seeing how, how I've evolved over there as time goes on. The very things that made me move from a uh, uncivilized life as a three or four year old to now uh, constantly standing in prim and proper suits, I'm constantly looking and seeing how man is truly flawed and many people have constantly introducing or countless, uh, countlessly introducing countless new flaws over time. Everybody has flaws within them and yet they continue on in hopes of making a greater tomorrow for themselves and everybody else on this planet. 